Look how a month ago, a month ago, I talked about Ethereum versus Bitcoin. A month ago, this there was a stream here, right there. And you can scroll f f five weeks ago, and, and I was a big proponent, and even last week and the week before, and the week before that going to Ethereum was the low risk ratio for everybody here. That it was like here, boom, Ethereum. And I kept on pushing Ethereum between 2100 on the stream to 2400. And I kept on showing you how the risk ratio was interesting. And, and I refer, refer back to those videos and you'll see how interesting it was. And you can look, months after months, I was pushing it. So let's look at the crypto review. Let's look at Ethereum versus Bitcoin pair now. So you still see, see, we have this downtrend where Bitcoin still dominate and you still see the strength. Look, lower high, lower high, lower high. That means what? That Bitcoin remains the dominant force versus Ethereum. But I'm going to put a structure like this now, a structure trend line. And you'll notice if I take a pen, we had the shoulder on Ethereum here and here, and we have the head here. So all of this, very important on the retracement, this area on the pair, the 0.53, the 0.55 is very imp important. And I think what we have to look here is will finally, as Ethereum, Bitcoin dominance retraces a little bit this morning after touching the trend line, will it finally break within the next two years? That's it. That's all you have to, to know here. I still think that Ethereum is attractive, but you, <laughs> I, I, I beg you to look at the trade at 2100 Look, you can still see my trend lines. And we are at the top of the calculator, the long-term calculator top at 3,300. So when we discussed the trade buying Ethereum, we were, okay, guys. We, and it was, it was very powerful. So hold on. Remove drawing. So. When I spoke about the trade, we were roughly here. Yeah, at 2100 to 2400, and your stop loss was 1800. So you had only 300, right? To roughly $600 of risk. And we knew the target because we had the calculator. If you go back, to the recording, you'll say, holy shit, he kept on calling it right, and he called it. And we had the calculators, right? So we knew it was 3,300, right? We knew that. So now the key question is, I knew I had a 5 to 1 to a 10 to 1 risk ratio, right? So now the problem is you are here. And the next edge is here, which is roughly 40, 4,800. So let's say, let's call it, the, let's say they make even into this cycle at one point a new high of 5,000. Well, the power trend box calls for net buyer, institutional net buyer on long term and short term. So I want to look for longs. But I would want to see a retracement if possible towards the 2650. Because 2650, if we can get this 2650 retrace now, that would help us power to the 2500. And at least I would have close to a double. But I would not, I would not chase this 3300, 
3,500. The same as I would not r r chase the 60,000 Bitcoin. You guys are late. I mean, if you have not loaded on Ethereum and Bitcoin already like we've done since November, you're kind of late here. Okay, even if I do an aggressive structure line like this, it goes back exactly to the rule of third and the institutional zone of 2,600. So ideally, this 2,600 retracement on Ethereum would be a, a lot better re-entry for you if there's a pullback in the next six months, and then we power break the 3,500 and go to that 5K. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful. Now, let's look at Bitcoin, BTC. Because Bitcoin is going to go through the halving and there's no stopping Bitcoin. Look at this. No stopping. I mean, we are, we are literally possibly coming very, very fast to that shoulder right there on Bitcoin, which is 64, 64, 65. We are going to put a, a line here. And if you look here on that shoulder, guys, on Bitcoin with the probability power indicator, which are patented and very unique in the world, you know, there's no tool like this. We have the patent, the copyright, the trademarks, and that turn on stuff. This is, this is really giving you a visual map from where you are to where you want to be, right? So... If you look at Bitcoin right now, what would be the next stage? Well, it would be that shoulder here, you have that head here, and we have going to a very limited supply. So believe it or not, it's incredibly going very fast and the institutional and the retail start having a little bit FOMO here going on. So the key question is going to be where this retracement is going to be, well, even if I do an aggressive structure line, like, let's say I do it even like that, you see that we are not coming back until this institutional zone of 54. You have this edge at 58. So let's call it 56 average. So now we have a 56 retracement. We have a 65 target. And if they do a better retracement, it'll be here, which is 45. But think about it. For them to go back to 45, it means that Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin has to drop 15%. Yeah. It has to drop $10,000 plus. So it's, it's almost 20%, right? 20%. 20% is 12,000, it'll bring you at 48. So you need a 20% drop. So look how fast this thing goes. This is why I've told you and people were like, they, they couldn't understand why I was getting in cryptos and I was showing my uh, $300,000 portfolio on previous videos that are on, under the power indicator on the day trading zones channel. It's because I was loading the bag. You know, I was loading the bag in November, guys, and I have not touched it. And just doing nothing, nothing. Well, there's an account I go in and out. One account, I have $10,000. But there's another account, we had 10000 it's over twenty. One One account, it's ten. I play with. And then there's a 20. So we play with three accounts that total about $50,000 in crypto. And if you were in the previous stream, Right, Sam, it's here. It's all in black and white here. Look at the previous team where I look, I showed you on their video, my $300,000 portfolio. And by the way, I'll do an update on that because this thing, this the, the, the stock market has continued going up, right? And you see it right there. Real money case study, 250K portfolio. You can see it here. And I show you how I load, like you can see here, my uh, Combase account, <laughs> look, I show you, like here. So I have already the stock loaded, right? This was a month ago, then there was another one I did on day trading zones. I mean, this has been already locked. So you got to be careful because guys like me and the smart professional institutional buyers, 
I've already have their bag loaded in, in cryptos. So now how, how strong will be the fear of missing? I don't know, but I think a 20% retracement at 48, 54,000 dollars uh, Bitcoin is, would be healthy, right? It would be healthy because this thing becomes parabolic here. And the more parabolic it goes, the more uh, cautious you need to be right now. So hopefully that helps you. I repeat again, the numbers we are looking at Bitcoin, the shoulder 65K, right? We are looking at a retracement, first retracement at 58K then 54K. And if we get the mother of all retracement, 48K would be here, rule of third, 44 and the 47. So I, let, let's call it 48K so that you don't uh, uh, miss it, right? And that would be a healthy 20% retracement in the crypto market. Now, let's look at total three, which are the altcoin. So we'll look at total three. And so don't forget total three, what is total three? Total three is the entire market cap of the cryptos minus, right? The uh, Ethereum market cap and the Bitcoin market cap. And look at this, that too is flying. And that too is flying at the top of the calculator, which means what? That too needs a healthy retracement somewhere here somewhere here, I need to see a retracement of total three. I would rather have total three coming back at 487 billion than chasing the 604 billion top here, because the top here is 605 billion on the calculator where we are increasingly having a 97% chance of a retracement on total three. So you see, to me, for the first time, in two months, the first time in two months, guys, listen attentively. And hopefully you appreciate with your likes and comments and, and engagements. Good morning, Maria. For the first time in two months or three months since November, I'm telling you to be careful of your cryptos because the 64,000, 65,000 on Bitcoin and this total three, 605 billion becomes a little parabolic. We need a little bit of a pullback like this one to the rule of world, and then boom, we go make new highs. Because look, look last time, look where we were in the total three at 1.1 trillion, $1.1 trillion. So it would be nice we go retrace a little bit, let's say to the four, 480, what did I give you? 483 billion total three. And then boom, we could potentially uh, uh, do the shoulder here, the 1 trillion or more. So be careful. There's a lot of exuberance and me, I am a little bit like Warren Buffett. When everybody is greedy, I'm starting to be fearful. And when everybody's fearful, I'm extremely greedy. And this is why I loaded the boat on everything that I could from June to uh, November. And you've seen it in the $300,000 portfolio using the power indicators, you know, those patented tools. And by the way, try them. You have nothing to lose, everything to gain. It's 30 days, money back guarantee. Seeing is believing. This is a game changer. You know, this is... This is how I got, if you look here and you look all the videos that we've done, loaded the bags, like literally loaded bags in stocks that have gone up and up and up at the bottom of the cycle here. You look here, this video, and you can see some entry on, everybody's talking about Combase, Combase being a great investment at $200. I bought Combase at $65, people. $65, and everybody calls it a great investment of all time now at 200. Well, 
Is it a, a great investment at 65, right? When we had a quarter million dollar portfolios, guys, you can see, you can go through those videos, guys. Here, Meta, is Meta better when we bought it cost basis at 118, right? And 206, or you chase the 500? This is very important. Coinbase, same. Look at Coinbase. Is it better to buy it at 75, 71, 65, or chase the 200? Look at the date on which I bought Coinbase, June, September, 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 October. You couldn't, like, guys, there was not a better timing than that. If you look at the charts and you look where it was on your charts and where it is now, you're looking and you're going to say, holy shit, there was no better timing than that. Like, no, like you can, like the facts are the facts. And this is why I urge you to use the alerts, use the the the, the the, the, the tools, because the tools really are helpful. You don't trade and invest blindly.